<laughs> it's a good beginning. Huh? Yeah. 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 Should I put okay. the question? Yeah, just yeah. what's the question? The question is uh, <clears throat> how you got this idea to establish uh, Islamic belief? No Islamic belief is worldwide and everybody is profiting. Uh, you are, Alhamdulillah, God has given you this idea. How you got this idea? Uh, Sometimes <clears throat> you start something you think about it and sometimes you start something because there's a need for it when we started Islamic leaf in 1984 uh, there was a need for Islamic leaf to start because there was a big famine and we were uh, students in the university so we wanted to do something. This was the need. We did not realize that we would be here today, especially being with you in the heart of Europe, the capital of Europe, yes. Berlin, okay, to meet the Islamic League workers. In 84, we were just concentrating on the need of the people in Africa. That's it. Mm. Allah took it as a seed. Mm. And he himself make it very fruitful tree. So in my age or at my age, I can see you are the fruits. Of course. Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Germany, Myanmar, Afghanistan, Palestine, Gaza, Iraq, Yemen, call it. So you are the fruits of this seed in Europe. Okay? When you want to do something, generally, you need to do three or four things. First of all, do not do it for yourself. Do it for the community. Second, you have to believe in what you are doing. Third, you have to believe in the community needs. Okay? Fourth, you have to have a message to give to the people. You have to have a message to give to the people. And keep telling them the message. Fifth, you have to have a product. What is your product that you would like to give to the community? You teach, you defend, you make publicity, you do anything. And this is the product. As a teacher, as an engineer, as a doctor for the community. And most important thing, you have to link all this to your own belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the teaching of the Prophet <laughs> Number seven is you do not mix cards because you are working in a humanitarian field. Don't play politics. Don't play uh, different uh, speciality which is not humanitarian. If people give you money for charity to go to India, don't spend it in Germany. <coughs> They give you money for charity for Syria, don't build mosques. Okay, so it has to be spent on the right <coughs> things and the intention. Last but not least, you yourself or me myself should not become arrogant of what we have because soon the money comes, the ego comes. Oh. But there's no money, nobody will talk to you. But when you have money, like she said, uh, last year there's about 3,500 Kurbani, only from J J Berlin, she nearly a quarter of a million uh, euro, just from Berlin, on cash donation. Mm -hmm. When we started here in the 90s, hardly bought, and nobody used to come and give us money. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, but now you have a lot of money. You have about 16, 17 million, 15, 16 million euro. You have charity shops. You have nine people working in Berlin office. Maybe 20, 30 people working in Cologne office. You want somebody here, there. All, all that. But 20 years, 25 years ago, Germany was one man show. Okay. And this is the seed. If Allah looks at your heart, at your heart, sister, that your heart, and you find that your heart is the right heart, He will make your seed to become a forest, to become a habitat. So it's very difficult and very easy. When you focus on the child, the woman, and the elderly. There was no plan. Answer, to answer this question, there was no plan. Just start like this. Just start like this. At that time you were a student, no? Yes, I was a student. Mm -hmm. And you're still a student. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we all are students. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can you pause?